drone pilot creators. This one's for you. Many of us are curious about how the YouTube algorithm really operates and how it influences our aerial cinematography strategy. There's a lot of buzz about common myths surrounding YouTube's algorithm and how it impacts the success of our channels. In this special edition of Drone Business Strategy magazine, we're taking another flight into the expansive world of commercial drone piloting, but this time from the perspective of aerial pilot creators. Today, we're peering into the inner workings of the YouTube algorithm, debunking myths, and uncovering how to navigate this digital video landscape with confidence and greater success. Thanks for joining us. In the ever-expanding realm of YouTube, where countless drone pilot creators like us wield our aerial cameras as artistic tools, grasping the intricate YouTube algorithm can feel like navigating directly into a vast black hole. For us creators who thrive on creativity rather than technical know-how, understanding this digital gatekeeper can be quite the challenge. So today, fellow drone pilot creators, we'll shed light on some recent mysteries surrounding the YouTube algorithm, and I'm going to do my best to debunk common myths that might be holding us back from reaching new heights in aerial cinematography success. Let's begin by talking about YouTube's algorithm. What is it? Let's do this in pilot speak. YouTube's algorithm, it's like the invisible hand guiding our flights through the wild and busy skies of online video. Think of it as our strategic visual observer, learning what gets our visitors, our target audience buzzing, and suggesting our content to them. It's like having a backstage pass to the big show, helping us rack up those views and maybe even some extra cash along the way. And it's not just about the numbers. It's also about keeping things tidy making sure the YouTube airspace stays free and clear of any turbulent low-level wind shear, a.k.a. nefarious slime balls, grifters, and hijackers. So whenever we opt to soar through the digital realm with our uniquely captured drone footage, consider the algorithm as our GPS, helping us better navigate the ever-changing winds of online video content. Myth number one. An off-topic, viral video spells doom for our channel. You know, that moment when one of our videos goes viral and we start to panic, wondering if it's going to mess up our whole channel groove? Well, according to Todd Bupre, the guy leading the growth and discovery team at YouTube, it's not that big of a deal. See, the algorithm focuses more on individual videos rather than judging our whole channel based on one hit or miss. So, if one of our vids goes big with a wider audience, Todd says, go with the flow, don't freak out. YouTube's all about connecting each video with the right crowd, and we like that. So there's really no need to panic and delete those unexpected hits. Remember, having a compelling mix of content can actually bring in a diverse bunch of new viewers, new likes, and new subscribers. Myth number two, one bad video spells disaster for your channel. All right, let's debunk this. The fear that one crappy video will tank our whole channel. I know this is a, a stressor for all drone pilot creators about this one, but guess what? It's not as dire as it seems. In fact, Todd, our guy over at YouTube's growth and discovery team, says the algorithm doesn't play favorites. It judges each video on its own merit. So, even if we suffer a flop, we don't need to swear it or sweat it. The next one could be a smash hit. Instead of dwelling on past misfires, let's focus on pushing out top-notch content that really clicks with our audience. 
Those are the actual people who keep us motivated and flying high anyway. Myth number three. YouTube pushes video for creators. Now get this. It's actually the other way around. Contrary to what we might think, YouTube doesn't handpick audiences for our videos. Instead, it waits for viewers to hop on the platform and then serves up videos based on their interests. So when we upload a video, it's not like YouTube already has a crowd waiting. It's more like it's waiting for the right crowd to show up. This viewer-first approach means that every recommendation is tailor-made to suit individual tastes, making it more likely to grab people's attention and hover them in place. Myth 4. The algorithm pushes creators based on prior performance. All right, let's bust this one. Us drone pilot creators sometimes stress over this one, thinking that a drop in views or a break from uploading will land us in YouTube's recommendation penalty box. But guess what? Doesn't exist. Todd over YouTube says, it's not as spooky as it sounds. See, the algorithm doesn't hold grudges. It's a machine. It's all about what we're doing right now, not what we did last year. YouTube's main goal is to match each video with the audience who love it most, our target audience, and that's what we want. So instead of panicking over penalties, let's focus on making extraordinary content that our viewers will dig. And as for the algorithm, it will catch on accordingly. Myth number five, creators must follow their audience. Now, the idea that drone pilot creators have to follow the audience's every move is totally unnecessary. Us drone pilot creators might feel the urge to completely overhaul our channel or even ditch content or even jump on the latest bright and shiny object like those YouTube shorts. But Todd from YouTube says it's not about ditching what makes us unique. YouTube doesn't push shorts or any other content just for the heck of it. It's all about keeping up with what viewers really want to watch. So absolutely, we should keep an eye on what's hot and be ready to switch things up a bit, but we shouldn't lose sight of our own creative flair in the process. It's all about finding that right balance between staying relevant and staying true to ourselves and our highly specialized craft. And finally, myth number six. The algorithm favors some creators or videos over others. Now, holding that belief that the algorithm plays favorites with creators or videos is really silly-minded. Us drone pilot creators often scratch our heads wondering why some videos soar while others barely get off the ground. But according to Todd at YouTube, it's not about some secret algorithmic handshake. It's more about the quality of the content itself. See, if a video is getting loads of views, it's probably because people love what they're seeing, not because the algorithm is showing an extra love. So instead of blaming the algorithm, let's take a closer look at our content. By checking out the many available metrics like how long people are sticking around to watch or how they're reacting can help us figure out what's working and what's not, giving us the ability to tweak our creative flight plan accordingly. It's all about refining our craft and giving our viewers the best experience possible. And remember this, we're always testing. Test, test, and test some more. Here's our takeaway. Although the YouTube algorithm might seem mysterious, grasping its precepts can give us the confidence to navigate this digital realm effectively. We should welcome the variety in our content, prioritize making top-notch videos, and pay attention to what our audience loves. And let's not forget, the algorithm is not our mortal enemy. It's a useful tool to help us reach our target audience and showcase our uniquely creative stories. So keep on actively creating, keep on innovating, and always allow your imagination to soar. 
That's a wrap for today. To ascend your aerial acuity by gaining deeper subject knowledge, you'll find a link in the description below to instantly download today's teaching, the free white paper entitled Drone Pilot Business Strategy, Deciphering the YouTube Algorithm for Drone Pilot Creators. I encourage you to like and subscribe for more Drone Pilot Business Strategy insights. Next time, we talk about how to find and land drone jobs. For now, I bid you all green lights and clear skies. I'm Tony Moreno. Thanks for watching and keep on droning. If you have any questions, let us know. If you have any comments, leave them below. If you'd like to hire us, you can get more information by visiting aerialnorthwest.com. Be smart, safe, and fly responsibly.